All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And as always, you know I, my prayers to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai that these shows will be edifying. All right, uh, this lesson is in, you know inspired. You know, by watching the video of the Apostle, Apostle Elder Rumlop. And uh, I think it was a video he did this week. Um, uh, uh, assault on the Hebrew Israelites. And um, assault on the Hebrew Israelites. All right. Why is these uh, uh, Uncle Ruckus, okay, these house niggas, you know, that Esau grabbed up out of the churches and have them coming against us, their own people? Okay, the fact of the matter is that we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You know, today I was having a conversation and um, I was at a red light and uh, there was Africans, you know, the, the, the tribe of Ham. Okay, the Hamites, they were at their church. You know, this guy he came out of, the, out of their church and he had the African attire on. Yeah, it looked, it looked like a lion. A line, he had one shoulder out. He had like that, you know, that um that cross guard garment on, one shoulder out. You know, he had, you know, of course he had no shirt on. And um he uh walking across the car. And I guess his buddy pulled up who he knew, you know, at the light, right there on the corner by the church, and he started doing a you know, a little, you know, a little movement, a little funny humor. You know, and I looked in the other hand, Mike, that was in the car, you know, he, that humor, uh, you know, amused him. So, you know, he, he, you know, do something back. And, um, and as I, we were speaking in the conversation, um, you know, it just hit me. It's like, it's common sense, man. You know, here it is. You got Africans, you got our people. Let me say this. You got our people. All right. The so-called Negroes, West Indian Haitians, which are the Southern tribes the southern uh, kingdom okay and then you have a northern kingdom which are the hispanics latinos man okay but you know you negroes and west indians and and haitians you know they refer you as what africans and you refer yourself as an african but here you have the the real africans which really are hamites living amongst you living in your city living in your neighborhoods and you don't fellowship with them. You don't have anything in common with them. Isn't your spirit supposed to resonate with their spirit? If you're an African, right? If we're African, the so-called Negroes, and we see actually, we see actual Africans from the land, and they moved over here, they carry their customs and ways, why is it that you don't relate to them people? Their, their humor, you know, doesn't humor Negroes, all right? That's a big question. That shows you because we're not those people, you know, but Esau wants you to believe that you're African, you know, and now you're African-American because you was born and raised here in America. We're not African, man. All right. Now, this topic ain't based on that, but I wanted to bring that up. And, um, you know, all of these different doctors, so-called doctors, putting that title on their name, pastors, preachers, you know, uh, they they have they going they going, they have to study now, because what's happening is that you know little little do you know man everybody is waking up man and I ain't saying waking up to the fact that they're waking up that they're gonna be saved by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai but the fact of the matter is that the rabbit is out the hat all right the trick is out the bag and everybody sees the truth man. They know of the Hebrew Israelites and what we teach, whether they hit, whether they accept it or they don't. All right. The Most High is making his word known around the world, man. All right. And that's what it's about. That's what the Lord want. He want this word to go out through the four corners of the earth, man. And then he said, then shall the end come. OK. And um, these guys are losing members, you know, so they got to get into the scriptures. Meanwhile, the Most High. You know, let me get my first first precept here. Meanwhile, the Most High, 
he set up he set up pastors all right he set up real teachers the prophets of old because these prophets of old are back here today and um we're in that that time so this is jeremiah 3 and 15 this is one of my favorite scriptures um it says and i will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding so the real men of the lord are on the scene and they're feeding the world all right they're feeding the whole four elect out there they're they're telling the 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 wicked okay and the he the heathens their judgment that you're going to go into captivity that you're going to die by the sword all right these men who the most High set up the prophets which the prophet they are prophets of old all right they're here today to prophesize the downfall of kingdoms of a great great kingdoms okay it says and i will give you pastors according to my heart according to the lord's mind not not esau's mind all right not christianity which was a doctrine created all right by these edomites in order to keep you negroes well let me say all of you minorities all right you so-called negroes west indian haitians hispanics native and seminole indians you israelites that doctrine was created for you to stay asleep so that you can worship your oppressor and you can love your oppressor man because all that christianity is believing in jesus christ that's satan you're worshiping satan man you're worshiping the lie if it's not of the, the truth then then you're worshiping the lie which is satan man okay that is a plantation slavery doctrine and now these guys are coming up they keep coming with with shit that is you know is baby shit you know because it's not anything complicated that they're saying but there but what it is it's effective all right to those that doesn't have the word because to us it doesn't affect us we just defend the gospel as we supposed to you know and that's why this truth boils down all right to the elect of the lord it boils down to that because only those is going to receive the truth and get it but the rest were blinded you know so their job when they come out and keep you know coming against the uh the word of the lord the truth because all we're doing is coming out of the scriptures that's to keep the people that are not woke sleep you know uh, i'm gonna read it again and i will give you passes according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding so you're now receiving the knowledge of the lord the understanding of the lord all right and that's why a lot of uh jakes are coming out of those churches man you know they're not feeling that bullshit negro spiritual uh, uh songs anymore that ain't doing anything for them all right but really basically robbing them man you know you guys got to stay out of them churches man all right these guys go to theologian school they get they go to college to become a pastor they're teaching a doctrine which they in a, a lead agreement with your enemy you know most of these uh when these pastors they open up a church they take a a, a contract you know with the government the 501 c3 all right and that means that the government is giving them certain uh things they can do and certain things they can't do and if they disagree well excuse me if they uh don't agree to the to the uh to the covenant and they break the covenant with with the with the edomite then they had snatched their license away from them and that'll be taking away their money that'll be taking away their members all right and that's what's happening all right because the members are not bringing in the money and they got to keep hitting you guys up with this jesus christ character which really goes back to Serapis Christus, all right, or, you know, later on with Borgia, the uh, Borgia families, with Cedric Borgia, all right? It's all lies, man. The Messiah was not an Edomite. He didn't have leprosy, okay? His name wasn't Jesus Christ. His name was Yahweh Shai. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, all right? So let me get this scripture here. Let's get this one, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says to everything there is a season and a time to and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right. So the Most High have set the seasons in its perfect perfect course. All right. And He says everything to everything there is a season. There is a season 
that you know we went off there's a season we were going to be in captivity all right there's a season that esau was going to have his blessing and he was going to rule over us fulfilling the blessing that isaac gave esau all right it says a time to every purpose under the heaven and there's always a time of all right and a purpose far as this season that's why the most high he's he is time he's perfect on time and when yahweh shai come back which no man know what day and hour all right it's going to be perfect man all right it's going to be perfect and it's going to he's going to be on time so it says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up all right so you get in the picture it's the time and season for everything it says a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to dance excuse me a time to mourn and a time to dance it says excuse me there's satan out here man like right in front of me come on uh verse five a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together and a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing all right uh, i'm gonna skip down uh it says a time to love and a time to hate and a time of war and a time of peace all right so these are the uh you know different um these are the uh these excuse me excuse me Judah woman this Judah woman is you should see what she wearing I ain't gonna show you but this our people are destroyed man all our people know is conflict and drama man see this shit every day either stolen cars or motherfuckers fighting shooting <laughs> women it's all this uh you know out of order shit man just just living for nothing as the scriptures say they're born in vain man it's just like Probably want to hear all that shit, man. Anyway, man. Um, please ask these chapter three and one, uh, three and eight. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. So, like I said, man, as the scripture says, excuse me, to everything there is a season and a time, to every purpose under the heaven. All right. And uh right now we're in that time and season where the Lord have raised up the prophets. Okay, the real men of the Lord. The men of old that taught the scriptures and that went out and prophesied, and some of these men even died prophesizing, but they are back today. We're in that season, man. We're in that time. We're in that purpose. The purpose is that the Lord wake up the elect and to seal them so that what? He can bring the destruction. You know, Revelations, the seventh chapter, it tells you that the angels are holding back the destruction. They're holding back the wind. The wind represents the destruction. And the scripture it is further on to go and say, until he sealed the elect. All right. So let me get a, another scripture here. Let's jump to the next precept. Um, Ecclesiastes, Jeremiah 15. Yeah, I, I'm going to get a, let's get a John 4 and 23. It says, but the hour, it says, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him you see you hear that man all right i'm gonna read it again now this is the 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 time when yahweh shai was uh you know talking to the woman at the well all right and and but this refers to now because we're in that time and season and that purpose under the heaven all right it says john 4 and 23 but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. We're the true worshipers, man. We're worshiping the Heavenly Father in the spirit. The Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. All right? Spirit holy. And in truth, by searching the scriptures. All right? Reading the scriptures. Living the scriptures to the best of our ability. Keeping the laws to the best of our ability. Conducting ourselves, mannering ourselves in the ways of men of the Lord. All right? Holy men of the Lord, man. It says, who will worship, uh, worship, uh, excuse me, when the true worshipers 
shall worship the Father, Yahweh, right? In spirit and in truth. All right? The spirit and the truth is not in these churches, not in no bat being a Baptist, Pentecost, Jehovah's Wickedness, five day events, or you know, whatever, which one, seven, five, whatever, which it is, man. All right, all this uh, religion in which this government gave you, that is not the spirit of the Lord, nor is it the truth. You've been lied to, man. You Negroes, you Haitians, and you Jamaicans, you are not African. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the Africans, the Hamites are here. When they come over here, do you go amongst them and laugh and giggle? Do you communicate? Do your spirit resonate with them? You're not African. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, most of the, you know, Judites, I know because my family's Judah. All right. And growing up, when you, when, you know, and you're in the car with your moms or you're in the car with your father. All right. Your grandmother, whoever, older than your uncle. And when they see them hand mice, what they crack jokes on them. You know, when, when, when you, uh, you know, on each other, you crack jokes on each other. You Jabuji, you know, you, you stinking African. We do this all the time, you know, but Jake don't like to talk about it, but it's true. You Haitians, you Jamaicans, and you Negroes, you're not African, man. That tells you something. If you know that you're not African, who are you? All right. Let me read verse 24. Uh, excuse me, 20, uh, John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers... When the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. All right. It says, verse 24, the most high is a spirit. All right. He's a spirit knowing he's that true entity, man. Okay. He, he's an entity. Him and the son is two different spirits. But they are in one. Meaning they're in one mind. Meaning the father follows exactly the blueprint of what the the heavenly father the son follows the blueprint exactly the way the heavenly father set it up man meaning they are in one agreement man okay it says the most high is a spirit he's a consuming fire all right and he's not a a, a spirit in which you it's fantasy where you just in the churches the government churches they make you believe you know that it's just a belief you know it don't take the bible literally we don't, uh, you, I hear your brother. You know, that's what these people say. I hear your brother. But, you know, God is love. Love everybody. You know? Do what do unto others what they would do to you. You know? And, and, and all this soft spirit. That's not the spirit of the Lord. The Lord said he hates. What about hate? What about division? The Lord is a separate. He divided the nations. He didn't bring us all together. What happened to the Tower of Babel? All right? This totally, that's, you know, this place, which you call America and their system is totally against the most high in his orders. How can you not see that? It says the most high is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit. Rakakwadash, Holy Spirit, and in truth. You must, it said, uh, must worship him in spirit and in truth. You see that, man? You know, the churches make you believe that it's just, oh, it's just a belief. It's not real. It's just something positive to make everybody feel good, love each other, but it's not real. No, the Heavenly Father is real. Yahweh Shai is real. These powers exist. They're alive and they're watching. Let me get Isaiah 8 and 20. You know what? Mm, yep. Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, all right, not man's word, not the government word, the government passed uh, rights and laws for home, for gay marriage, man. That ain't the word of the Most High. So it's okay to be a homosexual, a transsexual. It's okay to have sex with animals. It's okay to have incest. It's okay for, for pedophilia, for, for men to lust after kids. It's okay for kids to be taught to be gay. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. 
if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And I foretell you, man, there's no light in this place that you live in. There's no light in America. God did not bless this. Well, yes, he did. He's going to bless this place with thermonuclear missiles. He's going to bless it by cleansing it and making sure no man inhabit this land ever again. That's how he's going to bless America. All right. He's going to bless this place by sending his angels to deliver the elect and destroying this place with fire, man. So, yes, the Most High is going to bless America. All right. And this place is in darkness, man. We're in darkness now waiting for the waiting for the light to come. And that's Yahweh Shai. You know, us brothers of the whole four elect, which I hope to be a part of them and be a part of that elect. Lord willing, I hope I am. I pray that I am, you know, in fear of the most high that these men out here, they're a small beacon of light. And they're in the earth in darkness. And this is why, you know, brothers, you're a beacon of light. And this is why you attack in the spirit, because it's dark, it's darkness around you. And just think about it. Image, image this real quick. You know, if you got a dark room and you a light, the darkness is going to try to swallow that light up because it's like, why are you in here? So it's always us being attacked. As Paul said, we are killed all the day long. You know, then he said, nay, we are more than conquerors through him that love us, man. All right. So these brothers, the elect, all right, that's out there teaching his word, going in, doing what they got to do. You're a small beacon of light and waiting for that brighter light to come, man. You know, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, so let me get uh, let me get this scripture. This is uh, Romans chapter 10 and 1. This is Paul, Apostle Paul, right? He says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel is. All right, he didn't say for the whole world. He didn't say... Edomites, he didn't say for Moabites, the Hamites, Paul said brethren, because those are brethren, and, and to be more technically with you, our brothers are the ones that do the will of the Most High, that are following orders, that are doing what it takes to see salvation, man, all right, never looking back, these are our brothers, man, all right, it says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is <laughs> for Israel. Just want to stress that. All right, because Israel goes back, you know, to Jacob. Jacob's name was turned into Israel. Okay, and became what? Israelites. It says that they might be saved. So Paul had, you know, had, had a great desire that he wanted all Israel to be saved, man. He had that much love. All right. But he knew that only the elect is going to be saved. And by the elect being saved, now all Israel is good. All right. Because the Lord said he have kept him a, 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 a cluster of great, of great men. And these are the seeds. These men are seeds. And when you plant these seeds, they can grow. They grow, they, they grow more of that of, of that seed, man. All right. This is why the Lord said my tabernacle is with men. Most high ain't worried about these women. We can have all the women in the world when we get in the kingdom. Right now, he's concerned about his men. Who are the head of the who are the head of the nation? The men. If if the man is fucked up, then the family's fucked up. The woman ain't right. How you fix this? You work on the men. You get them in order, you get them in line, the women will follow. That's how it goes, man. You know, James Brown said it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a man's world, you know, because it is. This is why these women had to fight for these rights and all these things and this and nature. And now to the point we're in Babylon that, you know, they, they, they have uh, uh, passed, they have uh, upseated over a man, you know. They have surpassed the man now. And now to the point... They all out wicked and there's no controlling and there's no bringing them back except for the cleanse, man, that the Lord is going to bring. And that's through that fire. You can't talk to these knuckleheads, man. That, you know, 
if, if, if you deny the fact that you're an Israelite, you don't believe in the Lord, then you're a heathen. And that's how the Lord sees you. He don't look at you as an Israelite. He's not proud of you. He's not pacified for your sins. Most High is going to destroy you. This is verse 2, Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So what the purpose is, the Most High raised the prophets up today. And he gave, He said, I will give you passes according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And now here we are in Romans 10 and 2. It says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Meaning you guys, and you Israelites in those churches, that claim to be African American, black, all right, claim to be um, Hispanics, you into Christianity, the Virgin Mary, you worshiping the Pope as if he's the closest man to God and that man has leprosy. That ain't the closest man to God, that is Satan. How can you not see it? You bring your children to him, he molesting your children, shaking and beating up your children in the Catholic Church, man. You know, you Jamaicans thinking that you're African, Selassie. You know, and all this other madness. You know, you Haitians into witchcraft. Nah, y'all Israelites, man. Wake the hell up, man. All right? It says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. So all this time through slavery and through, you know, us all the way up to 2019, we you, you had that zeal in believing in the Heavenly Father, but you didn't have the knowledge. Now it's about the knowledge. It's about worshiping Him in the Spirit. And in truth, and that's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Verse 3, for, their, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, man. All right? And this is what you guys do. And this is why these pork chop pastors and fake doctors... You know, see how they all got these titles to make it seem like they're higher than what they are. These guys are idiots. They're not scholars. Just because Esau give you a certificate and certify you and give you a license for this don't make you a scholar, man. You know, the scriptures say the most high is with the, uh, ooh, the poor. All right. That have rich in faith. He's dealing with the underdogs. He's not dealing with some guy that goes to Esau and get a certificate and then go open up a church and then and then sign a contract with, with the government. And now he's in there teaching what the government want him to teach the people so you can control you. Most High ain't with this government. The Most High is the government. He is the highest mountain. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. And these do they do that all the time. Especially these women in the churches. You jumping from man to man, you eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, you know, talking with a forward mouth, reckless, wearing wearing clothes, showing your curves and cleavage. No delicateness in you, man. You know, old disobedient, truth breakers, backstabbers, you know, backbiters. You know, women love gossiping and talking shit about somebody. Especially the people they don't know. And these men ain't no good neither, man. Same shit, man. You establish your own righteousness. You say, oh, whatever, how I feel and what I what I do. No, you got to follow order, man. You got to stay in order, man. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a role that you play. You born in this earth for a reason. And that reason is to worship the Most High. You know, what's that in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter at the very end? Your ho whole duty of man. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. So I forgot how it's, um, how, it, how it's quoted, how it's written, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to cut this thing short. Uh, Play Ecclesiastes 12, and I think it's 14. Right, 13. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, meaning fear Yahweh. It says, and keep his commandments, because they're not done in the way with. They don't they, they exist. This is what you're gonna be judged by. This is what you're gonna be judged uh, uh judged by. 
all right? If you haven't repented and show, show true repentance and spirit and truth and the Lord, knowing who you are as a people, praying into his true name and who he truly is, then guess what? You're going to be judged for committing sin. Sins that you committed in your past life and sins in this life, man. This truth ain't no joke. The Lord ain't playing. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. There you go. All right. So let's get back to Romans 10 and 3. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Okay. You have not submitted yourselves unto the righteousness that you're a Hebrew Israelite and unto Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. All right, so that's it for that. You know, I could keep going on. I was, you know, all the, all the word is good. All right. Um, I think I had something else. Um, Job 20 and 5 that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So all this is but for a moment. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. So it says, Job 20 and 5, that the triumph theme of the wicked, really the wicked, which is the wicked, is Esau. But then you have two-thirds of our people that 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 pass the deeds of the wicked, man. You're just as wicked as he is because you're an heathen. You're an Edomite, man. You, you call them fucking Edomites, even though they Jake, you know, because their spirit is, is, is gone, man. You know, it says that the triumph theme of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. So you only have a moment. Esau had a short season to rule. And we're still in his short season. All right? He don't have a, a full kingdom going on, man. His kingdom was cut short. And then it then he, he had to start it again. And now this is a short season. We American. Went from Rome. Was cut short. And now he's back in what? America, man. Okay? He has his rule again. Europe. You know? It says um, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. All right. And my battery is going to die. So, uh, I did hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that. All right. I got, uh, Acts 16 and 16. I'm going to bring this out real quick. Lord willing, I pray you. How about you, Shah? Don't have nothing to mess up the video. Um, let's get to, uh, Acts 16 and 16, right? Now it says, and it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us. Which brought her master much gain by soothsaying. All right, so this is a, a particular incident that Paul came in contact with, with this woman that was out, you know, telling tales, man. You know, myth, mythology, tales, creatures, talking about uh, creatures and things that in this place, and you know, it's just tales. People would listen and be spooked by, you know, wouldn't want to go in certain places of that area because they believed there was a monster and things of that nature right so now it says and it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met met us when she had a lying spirit on her right and she was good at it she had that lying spirit that was helping her to lie to people it says uh it says which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying all right because why? These men sent her out there because she, she was good. She was bringing in that money. Don't that remind you of something today? Reminds me of these uh, false prophets, man. Reminds me of these so-called doctors. You know, these guys into Christianity. They're being sent to attack who? The Hebrew Israelites. Because they're losing their money. They're losing their members. Right? Verse 17. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying... This man, this man are the servants of the Most High, Yahweh, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach to come out of her, come out of her. And he came out of her the same hour. So Paul used the power that the Most High gave him. And he said in the name of the Lord, he took that demon off of her, man. So she couldn't lie no more. You know, when you got uh, a person that, you know, they call it a gift of gab. Slendle his way out of things and because he could lie good and stuff. 
Well, he has a lying spirit on him, you know? That's what that's why you able to, to get out of things through lying, man. Esau has a lying spirit on him. And the most high is removing that lying spirit from him every day. Because the truth is out. Even though he constantly keeps lying. Man, I've been saying this ever since uh, Elder Apostle Tahar put up his video. I believe these Edomites, they're going to be in the kingdom, in captivity, saying that they ain't the Edomites. They ain't going to never admit that they're the Edomites. <laughs> you know? Because they liars, man. Even in the kingdom, they're going to say that shit, man. All right? Um, verse 17. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High. The Most High, Yahweh, which show unto us the way of salvation, and this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach uh, to come out of her. And he came out of her the same hour. And when her master saw that the hopes of their gains were gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. So what happened to Paul and Silas when they did this great work and they took away the, the money? They, they healed that woman from lying. All right. Took away that spirit and she couldn't tell her tales to gain that money no more. They took Paul and Silas and locked them up, man. Don't that remind you of something today? When Esau gets mad and he his 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 uh tactics don't work anymore because we constantly out there giving the Lord no rest, all right, preaching this word and prophesizing. All right, what they gonna do? They're gonna wanna lock brothers up, man, and charge us, put us in the jail. They're gonna take our lives, man. Because they want the narrate, they wanna narrate their new world order in there. They want the image of of the beast to, to consume you man all right which is the system they want it to consume you take over you and be your god and that's ultimately you receiving the mark of the beast which is the rfid microchip man uh i think this is it for that you know that's it that's that's, that's the point i got the point made you know lord willing i hope this lesson was edifying man but um yeah man you know it's probably a response i don't probably title it you know response uh, to, uh, I titled it uh, um, Assault on the Hebrew Israelites, man That's what inspired me, Elder Apostle Rumlob For the show And to go into these, these scriptures, man Alright, so hopefully I hope this lesson was edifying I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Wadash I like to give double honors to the apostles And elders of Great Millstone Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect Scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth Shalom, bros. Shalom.